God. I know myself. You're not supposed just to come and decide to give. Or you, you just say, come, all of you, come here. Come. So stand, let's stand together and face. Let's face this people. Eh, reopela ka hengi wiyano. Eh, reopela ko shayi fi wiyano mo. Amorot. Ima nga tobu lela mo. Tobu lela mo. Re mu fabu kai. Usorubu kai wena. Usorubu kai. I'm a man of God. You're not supposed to do things like this. Sit down. A man of God, you don't do things like you're playing because it affects you negatively. The reason why you people here, many of you, are facing struggles is because you're not considering a man of God. If you consider, ah, this man is a man of God. You know, this man is a man of God. I must not supposed to do things like this. That's how you succeed. That's how you succeed. You don't succeed because of your intelligence, no. You can still go to school, you study, you find yourself not getting a job. You succeed because you value God. There's God in that man. So I cannot just do things like this. You get a case. You see, this man, can you stand up? Prophet Emmanuel. I want to tell you about what this man is doing. If he comes to greet me, this man, uh, he's not doing this because he wants to please me. No. He's not doing this. I've already seen his heart. This man will lie down. This man is not a Nigerian. I give example by Nigerian. This man will lie down flat. And, and I'm forced to lay my hands on him, down like this. I've been with this man for years. He will lie down because he knows that there's, a, there's God. There's God. He's not doing this. He's not doing this because he wants to do this. He knows me. That man. He was not supposed to be doing that. He will lie down down, I mean, on the office there. He will lie down. One day, I will camera him so that I show you what I'm talking about. Because you believe by seeing. This man, tomorrow when you start to hear, this man is one of the greatest men of God. You say, ah, na kure hasari rata, hasari rapen labuzi, kauri he jwa jwa. No, kiwe na. You undermine the grace of God. You look at the man of God. You see, sometimes when we speak like this, people say, ah, you, you, you people here, hey, we, we fear God. We don't fear the man of God. We're not talking about fear. We are talking about identification. A person who's able to see beyond the, the flesh. Are you hearing me? We are talking about something. The reasons why you people... People are not successful in life. Because look how you greet the man of God. Stand up. So, hey, look at Mona. The reasons how you are acting, it, it puts you down, it brings rejection. Rejection. How you are acting. This man. I'm not talking about things of now. He has been doing this. He has been doing this. This brother, you see that? That man there is my brother. Korombi, can you stand up, Korombi? That man, even when I entered there, I was greeting him. Did you see how he acted? Okay, let me show you. Because you people here, you believe in God of Mazamba. You don't believe God of heaven. Okay. How are you, Kuro? This man greet me like this. He's my brother-in-law. I marry his sister. He's the immediate younger brother. You can see that. This one, see that. 
when he come to my office, how do you do? You sit down, this man. Okay. This man. I'm giving you an example why you will be poor the rest of your life. <laughs> I've never told you something like isn't it? No. Eh? I, you can't compete me. You, it's not possible for you to compete me. It's not possible. You can't compete a person called a man of God. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's impossible for you to compete me. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen. Here, in Winnie Mandela here, I started to preach in 1996. As my wife will tell you. Yeah, in Winnie Mandela. And where were you? <laughs> there are certain things. I want to tell you this thing. The moment when you hear this man is a man of God, whether he is younger than you or older than you, are you hearing me? See God in him. See what? In that person. These people I'm talking these people, I've been with them many years. They even know that this Corombi, I've been with him. He's my brother-in-law, this man. And this Corombi is above 40. Because he followed my wife, who's above 50. Can you see that? My wife, she's above 50, and... Uh, you understand it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you thought I'm your age. <laughs> so clap hands for yourself. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to say why we fail to succeed. You understand? You are looking at the man of God and you undermine him. If I'm you, if I'm you, I'll go around and say, this man is a pastor, a man of God, I didn't know. And uh, sorry, say, I have this, please take this. Because you don't know when you give. The Bible says, give in the morning, give in the afternoon, give in the evening. Because you don't know when it's going to be like to rain back to you. We have got many big men of God here even today here. But others, you greet them like, how's it? Sharp. We are going to go oh, okay, well, okay. You are coming to me as if I'm the only pastor. You are being judged by the servants of God. The servants of God, how you fear God. If you fear God, you will respect them. Tell you, if you fear God, you respect his service. So, I'm just giving that as an example. That uh, me, I've seen on my birthday, I had enough. And uh, people of Charis, they have respected me a lot. And I'm satisfied. Many people here, they have done the best that I never thought. And God, the one I save for all these years, will really bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Even if you want to clap your hands, but I've told you this. God, the one I save, will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. I will tell you why God raised Andres. If I say Andres, me, I test people you don't know. I test people. I feel like I've got something that can make you to be something tomorrow. And this, uh, go and check my house. I will tell you when you are there. And this will ask me, what is happening? You will just drive, rushing there, coming to check my house here. 
and I will be shaking. Daddy, I'm here now. Uh, I want to know what is it. I says, I'll come back. Come back. Andres won't have questions. He will just run like a stupid, run like that. Right now, I have this brother here. Come, sauce, run. Come here. This man, if you call him, he does like this. I'm sure you've seen that. He'll okay, go back. So it's come. Always will be like this. Is there are some people? God is looking at the heart of people like this ones. You, when you are called, you'll be like, "Guru I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why he's calling me, but now you start to think where you went wrong. Maybe he's calling me because. Uh, I didn't tithe. But I would hear him. Let me wait, God. Tell me, why is he calling me? That's the reason why. God wants someone, when he says, run, you run. Move, you move. Are you hearing me? So Now, the reasons why you're not successful in the spirit, I'm not talking about in the flesh. In the spirit, you're supposed to be full. It's because of this thing. I found, look at this girl, stand up. This girl, this girl, I found this girl. Me, I'm just seeing my wife coming here. She's beautiful. The one who's make up this, my wife is this girl. Look at this girl, look at this. She'll be there doing this for mama, doing this. So I was there, it's the first time I was seeing. Mama will do an eye like this. I said, what is happening with your eye? <laughs> she said, <laughs> So, Mama, she painted Mama here when the eyes facing her. I've never seen that. I said, hey, if this girl here can put something on the eye of my wife, hey, I'll beat this girl. <laughs> you, you see her doing things, doing, come here, doing things. Do you think God will leave her? No. Okay, God bless you. <clears throat> All right, I'm stopping there. I'm just saying, if you're a visitor, you have come here. When you go home, don't see your pastor as a person who wants money from you. No. Don't go back and say, ah, maybe pastor want money from me. If pastor say, come and do this, ah, maybe you see that I have money, that's why it's calling. No, 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 no. Pastor might be seeing beyond your money. You, just be there, serve him. Wear an apron of what? Of a servant. There will be a time that God said, has said, that of lifting you up. It won't be easy for you to serve this man or to serve this woman. Challenges will come. Problems will come. But I want to tell you, there will be a time. And that time will never pass. And God will honor you. God bless you.